Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel Today we'll be continuing on Watch Dogs Legion And let's get into it Let's begin Right. Your teammate won't be completing their operation so much as they'll be needing one. All right. We better be finding whoever's responsible. That's him there. Get ready with the virus upload. What the fuck is this? Uh, Getting an access denied. He's not coming back. We're clear. I'll make a call, but this shit is supposed to be your job, no? Upload complete. Now scarper or they'll kill you for sure. Virus install complete. She'll be pleased about that. We ought to share the good news with her. Took care of that thing for you. I saw. I'm watching the virus drain their accounts right now. <laughs> it totally worked. You guys are all right. We should work together more often. You know, dead sex looking for fighters. And you seem to have some fight in you. How about letting it out? Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready to make a difference. And as usual, keep everyone's names and locations So Sir doesn't come and look Yes. Tough, brave, stupid. Any two of those qualify you to join. Some of us are all three. Ready to help make a difference. Very nice. Now we do a mission. Which one first? This or this? I think this. Before that, gonna see in the map. My gosh, so far away. Where is that? Oh. Alrighty, we arrive. Let's do this thing. Right, let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organization to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government, led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Wasn't fooled back then, and I'm still not now. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. We found one. His name, Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. 
Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic. Before that, gonna try and see Bellagi has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Go down, 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 down. We got it. Let's go up. Processing, processing. Whoa! The man's got a proper setup here. How are we gonna bypass it? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. Will do. Welcome to Claire and Presentation. Shit! Of I didn't know it could be that easy. London. 
Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. There's no splash. What kind of a dive was that? This girl supposed to join the Olympics. She would get a golden medal right away. It looks like a bomb. Move! One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. All right. No need to get excited. You. And hey, what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Yeah, right. Try more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right. And I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Just listen, listen. Albion's on its way. So your priority right now is to run. Telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> I was careful, fucking idiot, Amish. Look, cuss is worse than you know. Wow, thanks, but we know. Why else do you think I'm here? Maybe, because Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how Merck's work. All right, get this straight now. We want your help stopping Cass. He's behind the bombings, and he tried to end us. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what. No, no! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. Think, Amish, think. Shoot, fine. The table. I'll buy you some time. Just go. Get out of the no! <laughs> 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 in an Albion holding cell. Have London rents really gotten that bad? Jesus, honestly, how difficult is it to evade Albion? They're absolute morons. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate.
Alright guys, that will be all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the next part. Thank you and goodbye.